have a great tip for using up that yarn stash. If you've got 100% roving wool like this yarn, you can make chemical-free dryer balls. And to do that, all you need to do is just wrap the roving in a ball and you can just go to your heart's content. Really about tennis ball uh, size is great. And you can see that that's been done here. And you can secure it by just tucking it in, no big deal, because to felt it, you're going to be placing it in an old pair of stockings. So this is just a pair of nylons, and we've put them in there. This is really important, though. Take a non-feltable yarn, like a cotton twine, and tie them off so that the twine won't felt, but these will, and they'll retain your shape. This is a really important step, because if you don't, you'll have these like crazy wool pieces all over your, um, your washer. You want to throw them in a wash with really, really hot water, as, as hot as you can get. If you don't want to waste, if you feel like that's wasteful just putting it on that, you can also throw your towels in and wash them at the same time. But you need soap and you need really hot water and the agitation will felt them. Once they're finished, and you might have to do it more than one time. This is, these are really dense pieces, so you can see it might take a while, but you can see how they've melded together. And they're these really nice firm balls. So you put them in the dryer every time you do a load of laundry. And instead of using those, those chemical filled sheets, what these will do is they will absorb the moisture, cut down the drying time by like 25%, and plus they release it again. That gives you some humidity that cuts down on static and wrinkles. Super easy, super crafty, my favorite kind of tip. Join us next time as we explore knitting and crocheting with all sorts of novelty yarns. And remember to make time to knit daily.